I'm here at Aftonbladet. This was the first modern Swedish newspaper and a bastion of Swedish laissez-faire liberalism. It was the first publication to attack not just abuses of power, but political power itself. It was not unexpected because we were waiting. I am here to talk with Sofia yeah. Olsson Olsen, the publisher of Aftonbladet. If you look here. This is a room full of history. Yeah, isn't it? And this is the first copy, the first issue of Aftonbladet. You can see it was published wow. in December 1830. Oh, that's so fantastic. So we just took it down from the wall and yeah. to show you. It was one of his visions. Aftonbladet was founded by Lars Johan Hjerta. Uh, we had free press in Sweden, but it was not fully developed. So Lars Johan Hjerta was the person who really pushed the free press forward. And he was a very brave man, I would say, because it was dangerous at that time. And this is the, then the bust of Lars Johan Hjerta as well. So he we have very we, serious. Yeah. And he's, well, he was a serious man. He's looking straight into your office. Yeah, is that all it? the time. Yeah. So. And I also wear him here, <laughs> oh, yeah. close to my heart. By the mid-19th century, Sweden's literacy rate was 75%, one of the highest in the world. The growing middle class could now read first-hand stories about urban overcrowding and rural poverty. The authorities didn't like Aftonbladet, of course, because it was challenging the power. And at that time, the, most of the decisions was happening in the bedroom of the king, because it was an honor to get to the king's bedroom. So it was very, very close. And the only news you could get was from the priests and from the king. Though Lars Johan Hjerta was challenging the power, then he really took the power from the bedroom and gave it to the people because they got information, you know, information is power. 